Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To add an image to a PDF document, first select Edit PDF from the Tools Center or the Tools Panel. Next, click the Add Image button from the Edit PDF toolbar. This will launch the Open Dialog box. Navigate to find the image you want to add to the PDF, select it, and then click the Open button within the dialog box. A thumbnail of the image will appear attached to the mouse cursor. Click to place the image within the PDF. The top left corner of the image will correspond to the spot where you click. You can drag the image to a new spot or use the resizing handles on the image's bounding box to enlarge or shrink the image. Notice how Acrobat displays the image size as it changes. Although it is not an image editing application, Acrobat does let you make simple changes to an image like rotating, flipping, and cropping. To edit an image, first click on the image within the PDF to select it. You can tell when an image is selected because it appears surrounded by a blue bounding box. With the image selected, you can use any of the tools found in the Objects area of the Tools panel. You can click the Flip Vertical or Flip Horizontal buttons to flip the selected image vertically or horizontally. You can click the Rotate Counterclockwise or Rotate Clockwise buttons to rotate the selected image 90 degrees in a counterclockwise or clockwise direction each time you click the associated button. You can crop an image by clicking the Crop button. Your mouse pointer will turn into a crop tool and you can grab and drag the crop handles located in place of the resizing handles on the sides and corners of the bounding box to remove unwanted parts of the image. When you are satisfied with the new image, click outside of the image to apply the crop operation. To replace a selected image with another image, first click to select the image within the PDF that you want to replace. Next, click the Replace Image button found in the Tools panel. The open dialog box appears, and you can navigate to find the replacement image for the selected image. Once you find the new image, click it to select it, and then click the Open button within the dialog box. Acrobat replaces the original image with your new image and resizes the new image to fit within the selected image area. You can also easily align a new image with other objects in the PDF. To align an image, first click the Edit button found in the Edit PDF toolbar. Acrobat displays all of the elements in the PDF surrounded by bounding boxes. Click to select the image to align with another PDF object. Next, hold down the Control key on your keyboard and click to select the element or elements to align with the image. The selected elements appear surrounded by blue bounding boxes. This area represents the area within which the object alignment occurs. After selecting all the elements to align, click the Align Objects drop-down in the Tools panel. Choose one of the six alignment options from the drop-down menu. Acrobat moves the PDF elements to reflect your choice. Acrobat lets you change the order in which overlapping objects like images and text appear in a PDF. This can help you add an image as a background to existing text or a smaller image. To change the stacking order of overlapping PDF objects, select an object in the stack like an image. Next, click the Arrange Objects drop-down in the Tools panel. Then select the Desired Arrangement command from the drop-down menu that appears. Bring to Front, Send to Back, Bring Forward, or Send Backward. Choosing Bring to Front brings the selected object to the front of the stack of overlapping objects. All other objects in the stack appear behind this object. Selecting Send to Back sends the object to the back of the stack. All other objects in the stack appear in front of this object. Selecting Bring Forwards brings the selected object forward one level in the stack. Selecting Send Backward sends the selected object one level backwards in the stack. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free.